Hi, welcome to online ordering system created using C Sharp application. So I'm just going to show you how this works. Let's say the name is Isa Eru, and uh, the telephone number is as follows, and um, the reference number will be generated automatically. And let's say that's the amount of wine ordered, and into that in there so all we just need to do is to click on total and that's the total of everything the reference number of the of this very man is uh, 301 so you can always use the calculator to add this up so if you multiply this by this this multiply by that that's 20 and uh, you can even just add up all of the total so 36 okay plus 56 and that is what you get okay and uh, that's the tax right there if you add the tax to it plus the tax and that is the value so the next thing you can do with this system is you can always come here and just add this to the basket or you can even come here and just save and uh, just enter all your items straight into the data grill and that is how the system works so what I'll do next is just take you guys straight into Visual Studio now hi and welcome to C Sharp in this very program we're going to be developing a C Sharp ordering system so I'll select Windows Forms application click on I'll just let's give it a name anyway we call that order underscore systems okay and that's the form right there so click on that select the form property right here and just uh, change the form size to 1366 by 700 and the back color I'm going to change that to black there so the next thing I'll do is just uh, get some of this uh, following component on board let's look for a group box there I'm going to need four of those but one thing first let's change the back the color of that to control there so I need four of those just copy one more here and one here there okay let's speed that up okay this is how the interface is looking now so I need the following component as well let's go for to control tab control I need an extra tab there that's my tab control there add one more that's fine and I then need the following here let's get some labels on board okay those are the labels we need two more here. We need about a couple of labels here and some here. Okay. And we also need maybe three of those here. Really. One, two, and three. There. Okay, here let's change the name of the very property to let's change that to calculator change that to calculator and the next one we change that to receipt and follow by order there okay the next thing we need to do now is you see the calculator right there I'm gonna need as follows let's get our toolbox we need some buttons in the first place let's get a label there as well we need a label for the calculator and change the fonts and the property of that, of that very label let's change that to auto size force back color let's make that white and border style will be fixed single now the text content in there will be zero align center right and change the font size to something readable okay let's go for maybe 20 
all right that's looking good now i need one more label there just copy that paste it right in there okay all right so the next thing i'll do now is uh, let's design the buttons we need a couple of these okay drag it along yeah and now on this very side i need as follows let's get uh, a combo box we need a combo box and a text box okay a combo box a label and a text box here that's a label there might as well copy one of these because i'm going to need that as well and a combo box place a combo box there that one text box there right here text box here there okay so that's how the system is looking right now so the next thing i'll do is just uh, select all of these increase the font size to something a little bit readable or something readable okay let's change that to about 16 or maybe 18 that's cool okay if i run the program now this is how it looks it's looking so what i would do next is uh, this side is supposed to be for my converter so uh, we have a button there as well maybe just copy this and use it to cover here bring it down okay and uh, maybe bring it up there change the text content to currency converter all right and just increase the font size just increase the font size maybe 24 all right that's cool so what i will do next is just speed it up and get back to you guys okay guys this is how the system is looking right now if i run it this is what you guys will see so the next thing i'll do now is i will develop or create a database okay let's go into the solution explorer right there right click on other system add new items and I will now scroll down select local database let me give that a name order I'm just gonna call it order that's fine click on ok click next and just finish it up right there now my order system is ready for for me to double click double click on it on the database itself right click on the table to create new table okay the tables that I'll be creating, if you look at the names here, those are the names that I will call. So, first, one thing first, let's give that a name Order Systems. Now, the first name there will be, let's call that Order ID Reference, Reference Number. Now, the next one is Customer, Customer Name, Customer underscore phone number then I hear I hear I have customer and I have the date order order date followed by order time or time of order mm -hmm. then I have right underneath here types of wine and so on so let's go for white wine there red wine or the type of wine then right here I need quantity one quantity two quantity three okay what else do i need i need a price and subtotal come right down here unit price one so the next one is unit price two unit price three there then followed by subtotal subtotal i'll be subtotal one really and subtotal one subtotal two subtotal three there okay we need tax right there net subtotal and finally net total okay hopefully i have all my data in place you can always set your primary key if you want but uh, i'm not going to be bothered with that 
all right so let's just click on ok up and click on ok that's it the database is now created okay to now finish up with the database i have to add it so come to data right here add new data source now this dialog box pops up click on next next and that's your database right there it's connected if you want to create a new one you can always connect to a new one there go next now you get this dialog box select the table that you just created there right in there are the information that I've entered into my table click on finish once that is completed come back to data right there now select show data source and that's the data source there if you drop this down you will see your data right there so what I will do next is just move this across come up here we have the order okay I'm going to drag this drag this data grill view drag that onto the system here there so that's taken care of now the next thing I'll do is the details now drop that down individually look at the other reference right there click there and just delete this place this in there now customer delete the customer so leave the text box in there so that's for customer now telephone bring that here now we need date delete this time delete that okay so I will now speed that up and get back to you guys okay with that of uh, the unit and just drag this delete this very one now we need the subtotal one delete the subtotal itself just the labels are deleted and the text box because the text box will be used okay there so let's take care of the subtotal subtotal that's it there delete that now the tax and net total delete okay the next thing i'll do is just increase the font size for each of the text box select it all and increase the font size to something readable okay let's go to the property there now increase the font size let's go for maybe 16 bold there that's taken care of so with that I will call it the end of this program right now so that will be the end of the first part of this program I'll see you guys in the second part of this tutorial